In 2024, I set my goal of becoming a network engineer and I achieved it at the end of 2025. In today's video, I'm going to show you what it looks like for me getting back on the horse after Christmas, after having a break and having three and a half weeks of no studying. I'm going to be going back to the textbooks and taking some practice exams. I have my Cisco CCST, the Cisco CCNA, and I'm trying to get the Cisco DevNet Associate. This is soon going to be called the Cisco CCNA Automation. Now, it's been a really busy couple of months for me, changing jobs, getting a network engineer job and having my family over for Christmas and Christmas itself and the new year. So, yeah, it's been busy and now it's time to get my head back in the game and get this exam ticked off. After all, I did anticipate passing this exam before 2026, but like I said, with the whole job change and everything like that, it's just taken a little bit of a backseat. Right, I start off when I've had a little bit of a break, getting back into stuff by reading through my notes. When I did my CCNA, I created a massive booklet of notes after going through each lecture. I highlight things, I draw things, I write things down in a way that sort of takes me back to the time that I was learning it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I remember doing this. Yeah, this makes sense now. So reading notes for me, really does help to put me into the zone before taking any test. I found out from doing certifications in my thirties that I'm not like a book learner. I'm a watcher and I write notes. That's kind of how I learn through watching and through writing notes. I don't seem to grasp it as well just through reading books. That's something that I found out. Now for the practice exams, I use Boson. You've probably heard of Boson if you know anything about IT certifications, but I use them for practice exams. Did that in the CCNA and I found it quite beneficial. So I thought, okay, I'd do it for the DevNet Associate. Now, everyone says this, but they are hard. And I was anticipating my first exam after having pretty much a month off to, well, not be great. Almost instantly, I knew what I needed to brush up on, and that was things like HTTP codes. So you might have had like a 401 on your screen before, or a 501, 403 when you're trying to visit certain sites, and what they all mean something. And yeah, look, I, I kind of got this a bit messed up, 34% on my first practice exam. We was only doing 50 questions though. So I kept it light with the 50 questions and chose random exam. So yeah, first one of 2026, 34%, not great. Only 50 questions, but still, yeah, not great. So rehydrate, have a little think about what it is that it was throwing at me. Like I said, HTTP code, basic Python questions, things about certain types of networking that Cisco provides and have another bash. Second practice exam, and yeah, I think this one just go for it again. That was my thoughts because I need to build up a few results to really see where I'm at and also where my weaknesses are. Kind of got a good idea on the first one, but intending to take a few more today so I can just like you know get a good understanding of what my typical score is right now and what I need to improve upon. Um, one thing I will say is that I'm taking like the practice exams in much shorter chunks. Like I said, 50 questions and I kind of like repeat that, repeat that, have a break, have the dogs sat there. Um, I just find it's a bit more lighter and less fatigue when doing this. Oh my God, look, yeah, 46% was my next score. So we're getting there. Um, I think I just tuned in a little bit more on this one, but 
obviously still terrible, but you can see when you start to get in the zone, you start to improve. After making some notes, I'm gonna have a break and go and get some new shoes for work. I'm taking my appearance for work more seriously. I did do when I wanted to become a network engineer and it made me feel better, it made me perform better. So I was like, new year, new job, let's go and get some new shoes. Okay, so it's time to buy some, uh, some new shoes for work. New year. New job, new shoes. Those practice exams that I've just done went as expected, which is pretty poor, but it's about getting back into the mindset. It's about this year, the small compounding uh, repetitive tasks that um, I'm going to be doing to achieve my goals. First one being to achieve this DevNet exam. Um, and yeah, so the small compounding effect is what I'm after this year. Uh, but because I've got a new job, it's a new year, I've decided to update my wardrobe. I got some fresh shirts yesterday. Um, got myself some uh, new paper, notepad and pen, which you'll have seen. Um, updated my watch strap so this is the Hamilton car key field uh, automatic watch and I changed out the bracelet for rubber strap so that looks nice uh, get back and then uh, do two more practice exams uh, which are only 50 questions these exams but I have a good idea of what it is I'm not confident on what it is I <laughs> forgot uh, where I need to brush up so yeah let's go managed to get those shoes in and out of the shopping center in like under 40 minutes that's that's sort of like how i roll i don't like shopping anyway last exam now i've had my break i like to think about what i needed to improve upon on the drive there and on the drive back had some fresh air walked the dog and now it's just time to do one last exam and that will be three short short practice exams done today the first one of 2026 it's going to help me get back in the mood get back in the swing of things get the right sort of thoughts going through my head on what I need to think about and where I need to improve upon. So yeah, last exam, let's go. And yeah, here's 2026. Hiya. I think I wanna say as well, before we finish, if you are going for your CCNA, it's about the frequency that you study. It's about how often you do it and repeating and repeating and you will get there. Even though I've just failed, I did make progress 50%. So it was like 30, 40 something and now 50. So we can just see we are improving. There we go, that was the last one, 46. One before that, 34. So yeah, good way to start the year.